Hey everyone, welcome back to My Apple Zone. And yesterday Apple uh, released iOS 5 Beta 4. Uh, the unique thing about iOS 5 Beta 4 is it can be downloaded wirelessly and installed directly to your iPhone or your iPad. I'm going to be doing it, uh, a download and installation on my iPhone 4. So to start the update, uh, you just go to System Preferences, uh, then you go to General, and then you go to Software Update, and it says Checking for Updates. And there it is, iOS 5 Beta 4, uh, 133 megabytes. Um, so this is a Delta update, uh, meaning that it's not the full installation. So that's one advantage. Instead of downloading the entire uh, update package, which is about 700 meg, it only downloads the components that have changed, and that's the difference between a Delta update and a complete update. So I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, download and install process and then um, come back and show you uh, the difference with iOS 5 Beta 4. So click download and install. Uh, terms and conditions, I agree. And 133 megs. Uh, Apple internal download and let's see estimated time remaining about two minutes so after the uh, download completes I'll begin the installation process so the download of iOS 5 beta 4 has completed uh, the download actually took uh, a little over 20 minutes not the two or three minutes as indicated on the uh, status bar uh, many people who've downloaded iOS 5 uh, Beta 4 have reported that uh, the download seems to hang at less than one minute and you just sort of sit and wait patiently for it to complete and that actually takes a majority of the the time for the download to complete and that's exactly what I experienced so if you're downloading iOS 5 Beta 4 just be patient it's gonna take a little over 20 minutes for the download to complete once the download completed it automatically started installing uh, and as you can see right now the status bar is moving slowly. Once the, uh, the installation is complete um, I'll walk you through the uh, new version of iOS 5 Beta 4. iOS 5 Beta 4 uh, has finished installing. Uh, the entire process from download to install took just about 30 minutes which is much faster than the old way. Uh, the old way you would have had to hook your iPhone or your iPad up to iTunes, uh, sync your content, backing it up, uh, downloaded the entire installation package, installed the installation package, uh, the uh, phone would have had to resync to your uh, iTunes library to get all your content, and that process could have taken anywhere from an hour to two hours. Uh, this process is much easier and much faster and will and will really streamline the uh, future updates of iOS 5 for the iPhone and the iPad. In addition, now um, you have uh, iTunes Wireless Sync, so the cord has been officially cut. You can now sync all of your content wirelessly with your iPad or your iPhone and do all future iOS uh, updates wirelessly as well. So if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. It would really, it helps to build the community, helps to build the channel. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Uh, I'll answer all questions. And until next time, I will talk to you later.